Well, this old Louisville train depot could be yours for only a dollar, but if you want it, you've got some competition. WDRB's Katrina Nickel explains how the city will choose the new owner. There's not a lot that just one dollar can get you today, but if there is one thing, it is this former train depot, train car, and nearly four acres of land it all sits on. A price so good, some can't even begin to comprehend it in today's market. I mean, this is better than gas, so <laughs> I could buy two, you know. After being donated to Louisville Metro and sitting vacant, causing some vandalism, the city's looking for people interested in taking over, meaning one of the few remaining wooden depots in the country and its red caboose as an accessory can belong to someone with a vision for its future. Like Brandon Feisner, who pictures expanding his animal rescue sanctuary. To be seven miles from the center of a city and have an opportunity to have a far, like a farmed animal sanctuary where people can come and interact with those kind of animals and, and really see and learn and experience that, it just doesn't exist. Or David Holt, who could grow his media company to host events. Maybe at like some excitement throwing, uh, throwing different events, um, community engagement events, uh, possibly turning this into like a smaller version of like a Coachella. Even with its crooked floors, broken windows and spray painted insides, potential bidders are prepared to put a little elbow grease into the property if it means they can make their entrepreneur dreams come true. It's not about us. Uh, and what it will do for us. It's the difference it can do for the animals. It's what it can do for the community. But before it can get to that point, potential bidders will need to submit ideas for use, proof of funding, budget, timeline, and how they plan to keep it accessible to the public. I hope that whoever is blessed with this opportunity to have this facility um, maintains it and, and, and uh, definitely provides people with the opportunity to fully enjoy it as much as I do. Now, if you have a good idea of what to do with this land, you have until April 21st to submit your formal proposal. In Louisville, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.